So unknown to many is the fact that you can buy electronic goods. Heck, you can buy anything from Japan on Amazon. That's right, Amazon Japan. Sign up, sign in, and bada boom, bada bing, bada bang, you will get your Japanese tech delivered to your door. It is amazing. Hey, I'm not getting paid a cent from Amazon. Oh God, I wish for this. No, this is just something I kind of stumbled upon myself and I thought, wow, oh, so cool. Um, multimeters, uh, electronic goods, uh, just tech stuff in general that you don't see here in North America or Europe for that matter. And boom, it's available from Amazon Japan. So cool. So otherwise known as the Alpa M03 FBM. Uh, yeah, so both AC-DC um, resistance, continuity, diode, frequency, capacitance, duty cycle, and uh, has a rail mode as well. And a neat thing about this too, it's got a magnet built into the meter, a magnet. So no hanging strap, no tilt stand, but hot diggity damn, it has a magnet. Oh, thank you, Japan. So here we are, look at that. 3,223 Japanese yen for this bad boy. Now, quick and easy way to get that converted take out one digit from the end, and we're talking about 32 bucks uh, Canadian, around $30 US. That's what I paid for this little multimeter. Um, yeah, it is a feature packed. Hey, look, only nine left in stock. And um, Amazon Company Japan. You cannot get this meter on the regular Amazon.com or Amazon.ca, no can do only from the Asian market. So very cool. Let's take a closer look at the meter. Now is that freaking cool or what? Oh, cool. It is so darn simple. Just go into your Amazon settings and change your region, your country. Uh, in this case, we're gonna go to Japan. And once you sign up, it's literally seconds and you are in. Click on that done button and bada boom, we are now in Amazon Japan. Very cool. Uh, tons of stuff here. Uh, not just tech. Hey, you want to buy a rice cooker? Don't be shy. There's lots of them on Amazon Japan. Oh, wow. So, um, yeah, and the nice thing is English is everywhere. And if you click on anything, uh, you can get those reviews translated as well. What am I looking at rice for? Well, anyways, I am. I translate all reviews to English and look at that. Bada boom, bada bing, uh, very cool. Now, the only thing is there is one caveat I'm tour. Yes, it's Amazon. Yes, you can even do returns with Amazon Japan, but you will have to pay for that return shipping, which will cost you between 30 and 40 bucks. So, uh, you know what, make sure you don't have to return anything and don't do like I did and buy yourself a pair of Japanese shoes <laughs> because man, they didn't fit. Ugh. Anyway. Those test leads are really long, about three feet or so. Um, lots of room to work with here, which is great. And look at the tips. Oh yes, gold tipped. Can't beat that. Um, in terms of the quality, it's PVC material, but um, yeah, about just shy of two millimeters, about half the thickness or so of a regular multimeter test lead. But at the end of the day, these will definitely do the job. All right, I'm gonna take these gold tip test leads and start off with a DC precision standard. All right, here we go. We should be looking at 5.00 volts. We're in volts DC right now. And there we are, 4.99 volts, just shy of five volts. Excelente. Hey, wait a second, that's not Japanese. And because of the nice length of those probe tips, no problem sticking those into a outlet. Let's check it out here. We wanna look at volts DC. 120.0, wow, spot on, beauty. And if we compare this to a Sanwa, 119.2 volts. Now the Sanwa is true RMS, uh, the little M03 is not. Now let's compare it to another Japanese meter, another Sanwa. This is also a 4,000 count, and this little guy also has that nice bar graph. Uh, but this is again about four times the price but 120.1, pretty well, spot on with the M03, M03. Interesting comparison of the tips though. The Sanwa, a tiny bit thicker, um, but also gold plated. Um, not quite as much uh, 
gold plating exposed on the end of the leads and the Sanwa leads are about 40% uh, shorter, so more uh, more room to work with. With our multi-select, we can easily scroll through the different ranges. Right now, we're going to try out continuity. Oh yeah. Now, once again, these leads are permanently attached, so we're not gonna be able to try these probe masters. Here we go, three, two, one. Holy moly, horrible. This has gotta be one of the worst continuities I've ever heard. Ah can barely hear this oh my gosh that was such a downer we do have that nice visual indicator but oh man that really sucked Ugh. well a new record on the channel a dismal 51 decibels in continuity mode absolutely atrocious ah <sighs> konnichiwa that LCD display is pretty hard to read, you can tell. Um, no backlight included on this 4,000 count display, but uh, oh yeah, definitely not the uh, the greatest looking display. All right, diode mode it is. Let's start off with a standard diode. And there's the forward voltage drop, no audible beep. Here we go with the red LED. Oh wow, it is not lit. The yellow, oh the same, the green, nothing. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, Lord, Lord, ah, zero folks. Ugh. Output voltage in diode mode is a dismal 1.5 volts. Not enough to do squat. Selector switch, it's got big grooves, so when you move it, it's pretty hard to uh, get stuck between ranges. Um, it can happen, but uh, pretty rare. But that being said, still uh, not a great rotary selector experience that's for sure um no beeping in between ranges we do have a nice uh, illuminated but not illuminated but marked um header here for the range switch control but still eh, not very good and a very quick look at resistance 100 ohm coming in as 99.9 100 hey wow what do you know it's good for something and let's just see if we have any resistance on these test leads nothing at all so well that's good okay quick look at the inside let's start off with that reverse uh, back end look at those those are not batteries those are magnets uh, two of them it looks like uh, they're sort of held in at least the big one is with some um, uh, sort of reflective tape uh, and shielding tape what have you but uh, anyway I guess you could say we kind of have shielding eh, no just kidding but uh, oh well Moving on to the main PCB. Let's get in there nice and close for you guys and girls. So the main PCB right here, we have one Phillips screw, a nice brass threaded insert to get rid of the top. Good stuff. We have a PTC as well. Now remember, this doesn't do current, not even milliamps, uh, so no current shunts or anything like that. One lonely PTC here on the voltage side. Um, I like the way they've done the shrouding for the uh, positive and negative test lead. Lots of good quality strain relief going on here, and it's uh, shrink wrapped as well. So um, look at the way they've done the ends again. So that's some nice attention to detail for sure. Fab date here of April 3rd, 2020. Um, yeah. Moving up as well, there's our main cob IC. Here is the speaker piezo crystal oscillator, and that is our button cell style battery. So that probably explains uh, why we have such a pathetic um, diode slash continuity mode. But anyway, overall though, I mean, it's clean, uh, you know, no flux, no mess, uh, nice uh, overall design. Okay, let's put it back together, come back with my closing thoughts. By the way, the M03 FBM also comes with a little carrying case, so that's nice. Um, yeah, not much to say here. Uh, I think you can tell the writing is on the wall. Uh, leave this bad boy in Japan. Yeah, it just doesn't do much. Um, the continuity, the worst yet after testing, you know, over 300 multimeters on the channel. Uh, yeah, not a pinata. This thing sucks in continuity. And diode, it's not much better. Whoa, very, very, can't do much worse than zero. So, uh, shame really. I wanted to really like this little multimeter. Um, for about 30 bucks or so Canadian, you know, it, it's not really excessively uh, or cost prohibitive. But at the end of the day, uh, when it just doesn't perform very well slash good at all, what the heck is the point? 
Probably the best feature of this is that magnet uh, on the back, the way you can just throw this on any metallic surface and you've got an instant hanging point. That's cool. I wish we'd see this implemented in all multimeters today, especially the small ones. But at the end of the day, stay away from this Alpa slash custom M03. The custom M03 FBM gets a dismal one out of five stars. Oh, that is just so bad. <sighs> hey, thanks for watching this review, everybody. Hope you like the new segment. Lots of cool Japanese tech on the way. Till the next one, keep on testing.